given the tangent of the arc tangent of 1 plus the arc cosine of x, we want to write this as an algebraic expression. So we're going to go back and use our tangent sum formula. And this is going to be like our u, and this is going to be like our v. So our tangent of u plus v would be the tangent of u, so that's the tangent of the arc tangent of 1, plus the tangent of v, which would be the tangent of the arc cosine of x, divided by 1 minus the tangent of u, which is arc tangent 1, times the tangent of v, which is the tangent of the arc cosine of x. So now to simplify this down, the tangent of the arc tangent of 1 is just 1, because tangent and arc tangent are inverse functions. Plus, to find the tangent of the arc cosine of x, Remember that arc cosine of x means that the cosine of something is equaling x. So if we draw a triangle and we want cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, to be x, then by the Pythagorean theorem, this opposite side would be equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. So now ignore the arc cosine of x and find the tangent of theta in that triangle and that would be opposite over adjacent, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared over x. And then this is divided by 1 minus, well, we just found the tangent of the arc tangent of 1 to be 1, and we just found the tangent of the arc cosine of x to be the square root of 1 minus x squared over x. So now to simplify this down, um, let's get a common denominator. We could rewrite this 1 as x over x, and we could rewrite this one as x over x. So in our numerator, we're going to have x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared, all divided by x. And in our denominator, we're going to have x minus the square root of 1 minus x squared, all divided by x. So dividing those two terms, uh, we have fractions, so if we multiply by the reciprocal, our x terms are going to cancel out, and our final answer is going to be x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared divided by x minus the square root of 1 minus x squared.